Hey, it's Ractar, and today I'm hopping to the pop-up ray town for their episode of Captain Toad and the Treasure Track Brigade. Their brigade of tracks, the track treasures. And if you ever wonder why they track treasures, it's because they love money. They're all a bunch of greedy, money-grubbing assholes. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to say that about Toad, and there's definitely a secret right off the bat in today's episode. In today's episode, I figured I would talk a little bit about some things that interest me and one oh is there a secret down below if somehow I can get in there and pull the switch at the same time as always I'm gonna try and guess what the objective is and today I'm gonna oh shit poo can they climb the ladders okay no I was gonna say in today's episode maybe the objective is gonna be to not kill the the shy guys I shouldn't have done that but you know what now I'm thinking I mean they give this thing of turnips up here it seems more likely that it would be to kill the Shy Guys, so now I'm kind of thinking maybe it's to kill the Shy Guys. I don't know. Whatever. I'm already mini toed though, so we're in a kind of a dangerous situation because we could get murdered by Shy Guys at any time, but luckily they're turning around in patterns. Also, you can see there's all kinds of ladders around here, which is pretty neat, so I suppose as you hit these switches, it's going to change all of the prairie. It's weird they call this Prairie Town because for some reason, when I picture like Prairie Town something, I think of more like a desert, but apparently this level thinks of more like, ooh, secret sleepy snooper whoopers going down a thing. So apparently this, oh, we have to do this again. So apparently this episode thinks of it more in terms of something akin to, oh, is there anything like way down there? Nope, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do from here. So yeah, it looks like this episode thinks of it more as a what? How do I ever get back up now? Oh, I see what I do. There's an inner, inner secret prairie doors to go through. And apparently, I guess the way to get that one is to, there's so many things you can do here. Hmm. Oh, nope. Can't go through there. So I guess we need to activate one of these ladders. Oh, there's so many different little things you can do in here. Surely that... Oh, that's what that does. Okay. That's not what I expected that to do at all. Let's pick this. Hopefully it's a mushroom. Cool. That is honestly kind of what I expected that to be was a mushroom. So that works out great. By the way. Ooh. Shy guy. So today I was at work and... The Luigi... Hmm. Is there a turnip around to murder this shy guy? I don't think there is. And the fact that there's not a turnip around with which to murder this shy guy... Maybe it's a coin objective. Oh, he's coming after me now, though. Damn it! He saw me! Oh, I just... Fudged... I just fudged myself. Oh, this is really bad. We got to get out of here. How far will he follow me? Will he follow me to the end of the earth? Nope. All right, cool. Now we gotta sneak around because I, I can only take one more hit. So anyways, today at work, I was greeted by... So if you are a Nintendo fanboy like myself, you may or may not know that... um Oh, shit. He's here. He's followed me. He's coming with me to the grave and beyond. So anyways, if you're a Nintendo fanboy, you probably are aware of the fact that a new line of the... Oh, it's a staircase. Cool. You're probably aware of the fact that there's a new line of Amiibos out recently. The Wave 2 Amiibos have finally been brought to their fruition in all of their glory. And there's importance in that, and what is important about the fact that they've been brought to fruition in all of their glory, this Shy Guy is watching this ladder like a fucking Baron. Um, I gotta figure out these switches by the way, so, the fact that they've been brought to all the glory with their second wave means that Luigi is now out, but we just got the Luigi at Target, and so I bought one, and what's interesting about that Luigi is that everybody was trying to figure out what his pose was, except for me. I was like, he's doing the worm! That's his taunt in Super Smash Brothers. Here we go. I guess me telling my story about Luigi made me not realize what I was supposed to be doing right now, but the trouble with this is it looks like I actually have to, as part of the level, attract these shy guys to me because they are... Oh my gosh, this is terrifying! 
There we go. And please be a turn up. God damn. If that would had not been a turn up, that would have not been very smooth sailing for old Toad himself. But there is one more thing that I have to do, and that is I have to figure out how to get to that Toad down there. There's like a Toad hanging out down there, but I don't see any more switches, so I guess I'll have to come back and redo the level to figure it out. And we'll see what... I mean, that'll help out, because then I can see what the secret hidden objective was for this level. Collected the 1-Up Mushroom. Did I do that? No, I collected a different type of mushroom. Let's get back in there. Okay, I figured it out. The trick to getting to this Toad... Since all these switches disappear as you hit them, what you needed to do was notice there was a door here right off the bat. And then, as you notice there's a door right off the bat, you just need to go straight back there instead of going up and flipping the switch, which provides you with ye old 1-Up Mushroom, and then you die. Well, at least I cancelled out the death. I remember the levels from Super Mario 3D World that always had the blow things, I don't the the, the blow platforms where you blow on them to get them to go up. They were always kind of weird because you were supposed to blow on them to get the platform to go up. But I was never quite sure how to do commentary while blowing on them, and so it was just kind of like strange and, oh, I see. I see how this goes. Ooh, so if you time those with each other, then you can get, oh, so next time, basically go for a pow right off the bat in one direction and then let the other pow get to the other side. I feel like that's probably the easier one to get the thing on. Just because, I don't know. I guess the other one, the one with the double cherry, works pretty well. This drop road dash is interesting. This looks a lot like, there's totally a level that's like, really similar to this in Super Mario Galaxy. I'm afraid that, so this is drop road, which means you gotta keep moving the whole time, but at the same time, because this game is all about the angles, I'm thinking right now, it's like kind of an interesting concept to me. It's like, what do you think the goal is in this level? Oh gosh, I took a hit. I did not mean to do that. We should probably do this. Oh shoot. Oh god. So the reason, by the way, that I died there was because I was super devoted to getting all the coins because for some reason in my head, that seems like it would be the recipe for getting the like, secret objective here, so uh, that's why I died right there, was because I was very devoted to this concept that that's gotta be what the hidden star is in this one, right? Because it seems to me that not, that, like, the coins would be the toughest thing to go out of your way to get all of in a level where you're trying to just keep moving. So I was like, dude, obviously they're gonna make it so the coins are gonna be the key to getting all the stuff in here. Oh, I should've turn up that guy, although who knows, maybe... Oh, is that a... What is it gonna be? I'm so curious. Oh, okay. It's just gonna be a regular old mushroom. Let's look for any... I'm curious if there's gonna be any weird angle stuff, because in a level like this, it seems like the angle stuff wouldn't be quite as important, and oh my gosh! I'm going from, like, this top-down angle, and... However... Are we gonna get that diamond? Let's pull the stuff out of here and see if there's... A trick? Oh, duh. Turnips! Alright, we're gonna have to point myself right at it. Otherwise, it, this is a kind of a hard throw to make. Huh, there we go. Ooh! Phew! And they give you two turnips. Just to give you a little bit more of a chance of getting the goal there. Ooh, this last stretch is kind of rough looking. And I just screwed myself like a dummy. Alright. Here we go. I guess you just gotta run straight through like a non-scared person. Which is hard to... Ooh, crap. So you gotta go so damn, and I want to get all the coins too. Well, I guess I'll just cut back to there. So one thing that I've actually never noticed in this game so far, mostly because it hasn't really been an issue so far, is that if you're doing a level, it's not like Super Mario 3D World, and that Super Mario 3D World doesn't count the um, stars. If you like, If you've died in Super Mario 3D World, they don't count any stars that you got since you died. Whereas I just noticed in this game, they totally count the diamonds. So I didn't have, it was nice that I didn't have to go back and re-get the diamonds, but I am, in fact, going back 
and re-getting the coins because I'm still worried that the coins- Oh, it's so hard to keep control. I just gotta lean forward. You know, it does occur to me that maybe it's the case that I shouldn't be so focused on the coins because this could turn out to be one of those levels where I got the coins and then I go to the end and it's like, nope, it wasn't the coins. But I have this sneaking suspicion that it's going to be the coins that are going to be the secret objective in this level. Didn't defeat any pair of bird, birdie, bitty buddies. Oh, well, I defeated one that time. Let's be honest, though. If the pair of bitty buddies are really buddies, then why do they hit me when I walk past them, huh? Why do they hurt me? See, I think that's a misleading name. Oh, they're bitty buds. They're not but they're not buddies. So I guess who knows? Either way, they are just asking 